So this is my table saw fence, kind of uh, what I've been using anyway. I mean, it works. It's a little annoying to set up, but uh, it's just a piece of angle, aluminum angle clamped to the table on both ends. I just got to slacken these up and slide it to where I want it. And then for a stop plug, I just use a little thin piece and clamp it on there leaving a gap underneath so any chips can go under there so when you got a bunch of stuff when you got a bunch of parts you need to do it works pretty good so I'm getting ready to burn through these so I'll just set it up for each hole and continue anyway uh, that's what I have been doing I'm, I want to make a, a different system for this something a little a little better, a little nicer, a little more custom, so that's the plan. Well, I got uh, four pieces ready to go. I got uh, just a white foam sprue I hit it with a heat gun because because it tends to like all the little it flakes off so much and it floats in the floats in the mud so I just hit it with a heat gun to try and prevent that and this is the first time I've tried doing this but and it's just hot glued on um, this is just a bit of Dawn dish soap and water and apparently that that helps break the surface tension on the foam and that was a tip I got from uh, Kelly Coalfield so thank you Kelly for that it seems to be uh, working really well So I just finished giving them a second coating and I just got them hanging up here to drip down and dry and uh, that'll be it and it should be good to go. So I got four of these ready to go. Uh, these are a bit longer than I usually cast so I, I just got this crappy wood box made up and uh, I'm going to bury two of them two of them in the box I'll do pour pour and then uh, dump that and then do the other two after
good. So I was a little worried about a little bit of sand getting or air getting trapped up under underneath the tops here with it being straight up and down. So these I'm going to put in, uh, I got crisscrossing each other that way and that way to try and help the sand get up under that, that park there. So we'll see how that goes. Here they are. Uh, all I did was uh, just cut the sprues off. Sure, nice when all you got to do is use a bandsaw and zip one cut and it's done. So I just cut the sprues off and gave them a quick wire wheel. Um, so you can see they're pretty flat that way, nicely. That's the way the router cut them. This way they're not perfect. Um, People have been asking about what foam I'm using, and I I just whatever I find in dumpsters mostly. Like this is just rigid insulation pieces, so just a different different brand over here. But you know, it's the same stuff. And these I poured crisscross like this, and it worked out much cleaner underneath. So something weird happened to these as well. Like check that out. That's interesting. Anyway, I'll show you what I had planned for this. So these bolts will pop up through the bottom here. And they have a square carriage bolt, so a square part there that won't spin in that slot. Now when I want to make repeatable uh, drill pattern, say in that corner, I just slide this into place to set that distance. And hand tight. Anyway, that's the idea. set that distance and then the t-slot i could just run a nut in with a quarter 20 bolt and a block and i got a just a wing nut run that in That's 
that's that stop. I guess that's it for this one guys thanks for watching uh like i say try, try doing this with a with a sand mold you know no drafts you got a t-slot um, those and got a message on the back that's why i'm liking the foam a lot so this is pretty simple you could do this with a uh, woodworking tools easily so anyway have a good one and uh, yeah, see you next time.